Hello and welcome to another episode of how to do stuff with Xperdo. This one zooms in on how to create a new template. We're inside Microsoft Dynamics CRM and what we aim to do is create a new document template with Xperdo for Microsoft Dynamics CRM. So the first thing to do is go to the Xperdo management console. This opens up on a welcome screen and from that screen we can create a new template in two ways. You either use the quick link which is right here or you pass through the templates overview screen which is available through the navigation up here. In this navigation panel you can see all your templates that you made earlier and you also see the tile region right here and that tile region has a tile that is called new template so that's the one we're going to click to create a new template. First step in the process is give your template a name and a description and select the data set that will be used with this template. I'm going to call my template quote template. Give it a description and select the data set that I will use with this quote template. In my case, that will be the quote data set right here. There's another video that explains how to create data sets. There's a tick box right here that says allow dynamic filtering or field addition. Also, that is beyond the scope of this video. Instead, we're going to move to set template defaults, which is the second step. On the template defaults tab, you can set all the default settings of your template. There are four regions on this settings panel which are the access settings, the document settings, the output options, and the delivery options. I'll take you through them one by one, starting off with the access settings. In the access settings, you decide which CRM users have access to this template, and we use CRM teams to manage access. By using the plus sign over here, you can select the teams that are authorized to view this template. For instance, marketing, or field services, or management, or sales, and you can select one, or you can select more of them. You can add them through the plus icon once again. So, marketing and uh, field services, for instance. If you want to get rid of one of these teams, just select it and click the cross icon over here. Oh, and I see that I accidentally selected management instead of marketing, so I'm going to get rid of that. Use the plus again and use and select marketing instead of management. If I don't want to restrict access to this template, what I can do is just untick this box and then my template will be accessible for all users. In the document settings, you decide which name your documents will have. And you can choose whether or not to include a record reference in or a timestamp. A record reference refers back to the name of the selected record. So that would be, for instance, the name of your quote. In timestamp just adds an indication of the generation time of your document. By ticking or unticking the editable box over here, you decide whether a user is allowed to change the name of the document, and choose whether or not to attach a record reference or timestamp to the document name. Pretty much in the same way, you can decide which will be the default output format of your document. There's quite a list to pick from, and if you make this editable, then you can define which other output formats the user will be allowed to pick from. You simply tick or untick the boxes over here. Scrolling further down, you can choose whether or not to include a header and footer. That will be your corporate header and footer that overrides the headers and footers if there are any in the template. Once again, you choose whether or not you make this editable for the end user, and then finally, you define what happens if a user selects multiple records at once. You can either group these records to one single document, starting every selected record on a new page inside the document, or, which is more common, create a separate document for each selected record. Moving on to the right side of the settings panel then, you can define your default output options. You can choose whether or not to show a link to the document after generation. If you choose not to show that link, the end user will simply get a message that the document has been generated. You also define whether or not your documents should be stored in Microsoft SharePoint. And this will make use of your default document location settings. The 
define a Latput option, you define whether an activity should be created linked to the selected CRM record. You can select the default activity type, letter task or node, let's select node for instance. Give it a subject, a message if you want to, and then choose whether or not to include a generated file. Let's include it. With these tick boxes over here, you decide whether these output options should be visible, editable, or required to be filled out by the end user. Scrolling further on that to the delivery options, you define whether or not this document should be printed and on what printer. Although unfortunately there are no printers connected to this demo environment. And finally, you can also decide if and how your generated document should be emailed. But there's a separate video that elaborates on that option. For now, I'm just going to save my template, which is now ready to be designed by a template designer. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'd love to see you again pretty soon for another episode of How to Do Stuff with Experido.